Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us learn how to do a comparative statement when some information is missing. That is we are required to find it as a balancing figures. It is like solving crossword puzzles. Some details are given, some are missing. We are required to use the details given to complete the missing part of the statement. Let us go through the question. Complete the following comparative statement of Himalaya products by ascertaining the missing figures. Gross profit, less expenses, administration, selling, finance, and we have operating net profit. Himalaya products comparative income statement. Some information they have given like administrative expenses here, selling expenses over here. What information is missing that we have put into red squares. Now we are required to find out this missing information. Let us try to do this. Here in case of administrative expenses, they have given here for the year ended 31st March 2013 amount is 1 lakh. And here absolute increase they have said 20,000. So we can find out the value as on 31st March 2014. This is 1 lakh. There is increase of 20,000. So 1 lakh plus 20,000. 
so it must be one lakh twenty thousand. Twenty thousand divided by one lakh multiplied by hundred, we get twenty percent. Next, we can see selling fifty thousand, sixty thousand. There is increase by ten thousand. Now we are required to calculate trend amount, percentage amount. Formula is amount in third column. That is ten thousand divided by amount in first column fifty thousand. Multiplied by hundred. It is twenty percent. In case of financial expense, base year amount is not given. Current year it is showing twenty five thousand, and they say there is increase of five thousand. So from twenty five thousand, we can deduct five thousand to arrive at figure as on thirty first March two thousand thirteen. Twenty-five thousand minus five thousand is equal to twenty thousand. So originally twenty thousand, compared with twenty-five thousand, there is increase of five thousand. So that comes to twenty-five percent. We can add now all operating expenses. One lakh plus fifty thousand plus twenty thousand. One lakh seventy thousand, one twenty plus sixty plus twenty five, two lakh five thousand. It is one seventy. It has become two lakh five thousand. So there is an increase of thirty five thousand. In case of operating net profit, they have said that there is increase of one lakh, and here in second year the amount is given two lakhs. So from two lakh, which is an amount in second year, will deduct the amount of increase that is one lakh, so that we can arrive at the amount in base year. Base year amount is one lakh. Next year two lakhs. So there is increase of one lakh. On one lakh there is increase of one lakh. That is hundred percent. Now we are required to find out gross profit. Gross profit will be calculated as gross profit is equal to operating net profit plus total operating expenses. Here in this case, total operating expenses one lakh seventy thousand. Operating net profit one lakh. So one lakh seventy thousand plus one lakh. Two lakh seventy thousand for the year two thousand fourteen. Two lakh plus two lakh five thousand. Four lakh five thousand. Four lakh five thousand minus two lakh seventy thousand. Increase of one lakh thirty five thousand. Percentage increases fifty percent. In this question, we have learned 
how to find out missing information based on information actually given in the question. Thanks for watching this video. Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.